Hello, I'm Dr. Jeff Brooks from the University of Tennessee Health Science Center in the Department of Oral Maxillofacial Surgery. Uh, an increasing number of practitioners are placing implants uh, following extraction or the immediate placement of implants uh, following extraction and that's become a very popular procedure uh, and it's very advantageous for patients and for the practitioner. It shortens the duration of the treatment time uh, for uh, the patient in terms of getting their final restoration. And that can be somewhat challenging at times because one of our goals prior to even being able to place the implant is to be able is to maintain the integrity of the extraction site, maintain the four bony walls around the, the, the extraction so that we can immediately place the implant. Traditional methods of elevation, luxation, and removing the tooth with dental forceps have been somewhat challenging and unpredictable. They can be very unpredictable in that many times you have to drill uh, and remove a substantial amount of bone around the extraction site, which uh, is counterproductive to, to maintaining the integrity of the site as, we, as I mentioned before. Also, so we have now uh, been armed with the ability to use the, the Acteon piezo surgical instrument and uh, that has been, again, a game changer for us and that it has allowed us to use uh, what is a very effective uh, treatment modality to go circumferentially around the tooth and use the, the very thin, uh, slim tips to, to break up the PDL at, around the tooth and then simply remove the tooth very atraumatically, maintain that integrity and health of the extraction site. We found the uh, predictability of, of, the, of being able to proceed with immediate implant, implant placement has increased substantially and our overall health uh, of the site and the uh, predictability of long-term results of uh, osseointegration of our implants and being able to proceed with restoration has improved dramatically.